Sometimes when the text comes, you just have to say yes. And thankfully, we can introduce you to Guderian. Natalie, Shana, thank you so much for inviting us out. Thank you. And I think people will need to know exactly where out is. So where are we in this majestic, beautiful spot? Uh, so we are at Henry Ranch Vineyard, uh, which is kind of a small hidden gem in Pope Valley. Um, we are kind of behind Howell Mountain okay. and between Etna Springs on the other side. And Pope Valley seems to be enjoying this renaissance, if you will, and everyone's like, oh, it's new. I'm like, oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. It's very old. <laughs> it's very old. And so it's what's old again is now new, but this place has been producing some world-class fruit for over a hundred years. Yes. Is that what drew you to this? Well, partially, yes, but a lot of it was the specificity of this particular vineyard, what we have growing here. These Chenin Blanc vines, they're really special. You're not gonna find something else just like this in the Napa Valley anywhere. These very old vines that have been here for such a long time creating this really complex Chenin Blanc. Um, so, I mean, that in particular is why we came here. That's a good reason to come, especially because you're right, you don't find aged Chenin virtually anywhere mm -hmm. for that matter. But what brought you two together to form Guderian? Well, it was a simple text from Shana. Um, <laughs> do you want to partner on a wine label? And I said yes immediately. And uh, she said she couldn't take it back if she didn't intend to text me. <laughs> but So once it's out there, you're like, oh, now I have to follow up on it? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I need her to keep me accountable. <laughs> but basically, we both love wine. Shana had been in the business um, for years, and I had always been very vocal with Shana about how much I admired how she's, you know, gone through the ranks so quickly and um, I have always loved wine and so when the moment was ready for Shana I was I was ready to pounce and ride her coattails. <laughs> and where do you want to take it? We're aiming for about 3,000 cases um, so we want to we want to grow slowly and thoughtfully um, and you know we have to learn how to keep up with the production as, as we go so we don't want to just explode to 3,000 cases right. next year um, so we're, we're scaling a little bit every year. Well, and one of the things I love about the mission is the component and addition of food to it and, and how special that is. And so, Natalie, I think you've written a book on food and nutrition yeah. and, and can bring that component. Talk to us a little bit about kind of the element of food and wine. Well, getting back just to even the name Guderian means to gather. And so when you think of wine, you want to gather around a table, around a meal with friends and family. And so um, with wine, food is like such a big part of it. And our wines are very food friendly. Um, and I've always been into cooking and into sharing food with my friends and family. And um, after I, you know, quote unquote, retired from swimming, I wrote a cookbook, um, Cook to Thrive. And um, I, I, I love the process of creating a recipe and, and pairing it, and a lot of our wines pair really nicely with some of my recipes. So. And now, Shana, you actually have been involved in the Valley for a long, long time, yeah. worked with some very, very famous winemakers and producers, and is it part of the puzzle to be able to say, okay, I know this vineyard block, and mm -hmm. then you text Natalie, mm -hmm. and then reach out, and is it just the whole putting the pieces together to produce the wine that you're after? Uh, I definitely think it is. I mean, we're coming from a, a startup winery from a little bit of a different place than a lot of people come from because we have a little bit more access. Um, I've worked with a whole bunch of different growers in the valley, a whole bunch of different very talented winemakers who have been mentors to me. It started in 2017, coming up through the ranks, but you're also coming up through the ranks as a woman-owned winery. And people have this misnomer that there's a large marketing team, advertising team, production <laughs> crew. Why don't we educate them a little bit on who is all behind this wine? Um, you're seeing who's behind <laughs> it. It's the two of us. We wear many hats. Yes. Um, and we're both very flexible in what we're doing. And um, it, it's, yeah, it's it's us. We're in marketing. We're winemaker. Like, yeah, we're, you know, we have, to, we have to step outside of uh, whatever our traditional training was and learn new stuff all the time, which is one of the most exciting things about owning our own wine brand, but it's also one of the most difficult things. Yeah. You know, we have to do the marketing ourselves. We have to monitor the website ourselves. We process all the orders ourselves. We pack and ship all the orders. We 
um, we host customers at the winery and pour wine for them. We yeah. do event, like everything. So I, I think our personalities really suit the flexibility that is required of our I business think so. model. <laughs> and if people want to come out and taste uh, with either one of you yeah. or the entire team behind you, which is both of you. <laughs> this grape cluster. Yeah. How, how, do they, how do they do that? They contact us through our website, um, GadarianWines.com, and we will set up a tasting. I, one of us will be here, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll share our love of wine with you. Awesome. Love of wine and food. Yes. <laughs> and food. Good. <laughs> Cheers. Perfect. Cheers. Great time today with Natalie and Shana, a woman-owned winery you are going to want to pay attention to. Secret location, steeped in Napa Valley history and knowledge, do yourselves a favor. Get some Gadarian wine. Thanks so much for all your support.